We want to solve another system of congruences, linear congruences, using the Chinese remainder theorem. So in this one, the congruences are not given to us in a form that looks like the Chinese remainder theorem. So the first thing we need to do is rewrite each of these. So the, remember, linear congruences obey linear properties, so we can just add 5 to the other side. This one will then say that 2x is congruent to 8 modulo 9. And then we can divide and make sure that, you know, really what we should do is find the proper, um, find the inverse of 2 mod 9 and then multiply through. Um, but because these numbers are both less than 9, this is pretty straightforward. Uh, 2 times 4 is 8, and 2 to, you know, 8 is obviously congruent to 8 mod 9. So this can just be divided. You should be a little more careful about this in general, um, but I'll let you think about that um, in case you need to be more careful. But there's our first equation, x is congruent to 4 mod 9. And so at this point, we can start making our table. Our a1 is equal to 4. Our n1 is equal to 9. And remember, our job is to find our y1, and we'll use Bayes' theorem to do that. So the next one, uh, we just have to subtract 2. So I'll go all the way over here, because x is going to be congruent to, um, well, actually, I will skip a step, because I don't really want negative numbers here. It, do, it doesn't matter too much, but this one says that x is congruent to negative 1 mod 34. That's by subtracting 2 from each side. And then negative 1 is congruent to 33 mod 34. Um, you know what? Let's, let's keep the negative 1. Negative 1 is a nicer number for us to deal with than 34 in general. We're going to have to multiply all these together, right? So let's just use it and see what happens. So a1 is going to be equal to negative 1, and our uh, a2, sorry, this is the second equation, a2, and n2 is going to be equal to 34. And, of course, we need to find our y2. All right, once we find these numbers, remember how the solution works. So the Chinese remainder theorem says you multiply kind of zigzag like this, the way I've lined this up, and zigzag like this. Okay, and then you add those two up. So it looks a little weird the way I've drawn it, but that's how we do it. So let's find the y1 and y2. For that, again, we need Bayes' theorem. And Bayes' theorem says that we can find a linear combination. So 1 equals something times 9 plus something times 34. And those numbers are going to be the inverses of these two things, modulo the other one. So... And remember how we find these by performing the division algorithm and then kind of reversing everything. So the first thing we need to do is apply the division algorithm. So we just divide a few times and then we, we rework everything. So 9 goes into 34 three times. That's 27, so the remainder is 7. 7 goes into 9 once with a remainder of 2. And 2 goes into 9 three times with a remainder of 1. And so at this point, we're ready to write down... We'll make a list here. So 1, 1 is equal to, according to this, it's equal to 7 minus 2 times 3. All right, and then to the next one, 2 is equal to 9 minus 7 times 1. And the next one, 7 is equal to uh, 34 minus 9 times 3. Okay, and so the way that we do this is by back substituting. We take, um, we have, we want this all to equal 1. We take this 2 and swap it out with this equation. And then once we've done that, we'll take all the 7s and swap out all the 7s with this equation. So this is called back solving, or back substitution. So let's see what happens here. 1 equals 7 minus, now we're going to sub in 9 minus 1 times 7. I'll just rearrange the order of that one, times 3. And we want to kind of reduce this thing. So 1 is equal to 7 plus 3 times 7. So minus a minus becomes plus. Minus 3 times 9. Or 1 equals 4 times 7 minus 3 times 9. Okay, we've got the 9 here. We're going to get more 9s, though, because the next thing we do is we plug in this here for this 7. So now 1 equals 4 times 34 minus 3 times 9. 
minus 3 times 9. So 1 is 4 times 34, uh, minus 12 times 9, minus 3 times 9. Or 1 is equal to 4 times 34, minus 15 times 9. All right, so what we found now is that our Bezu coefficients are 4, goes on to 34. 4 times 34 is congruent to 1 mod 9. So 4 times 34, remember the way that these y's work is that y1 times n1 is congruent to 1 mod little n1. And in this notation, this big n1 is little n2. So y1 times 34 is congruent to 1 mod 9. So y1 is 4. All right. And then the other one is this one. So that's got to take the minus sign with it. So minus 15, and that goes here. Y2 is minus 15. This is where most of the work in the Chinese remainder theorem gets done because at this point, we now just multiply all these things together in the right order, add them up, um, and then reduce it modulo the product of these two things. Okay. So, let's write it out then. Our x, our solution is going to be the x is congruent to this product. So we've got 4 times 34 times 4. I'm going to put this in parentheses. Um, plus negative 1 times 9 times negative 15. And this is all modulo uh, 9 times 34. All right, so let's work this out. Um, 4 times 4 times 34. This is 544. This becomes plus 9 times 15 is 135. And 9 times 34 is going to be uh, 306. So this is the modulus. And then when we add these up, our x is congruent to, um, this is going to be 679 mod 36, 306, sorry. And this is, if we double this, this becomes 612. So we have to take 612 away from this if we want this to be reduced as much as possible. Um, taking away 612 leaves us with, what, 67. So our solution here is x is congruent to 67 mod 306.